All right, um, I'm going to start with uh, form K. Um, I'm going to do problems 14 and 15 only in this video. Um, I'm going to break these up because there's a lot of questions, um, and I'm going to have to break these up so the videos aren't too, too long, so they upload. Um, so I'm going to start with number 14, okay, and you're going to get to see some of my fantastic drawing ability here. Um, it says a window washer has a ladder that is 18 feet long. Um, he needs to reach the bottom of a window that is 16 feet off the ground. How far out from the building should the base of the ladder be around your answer to the nearest tenth of a foot? So um, I think once I draw the picture, I think you're going to see very easily this is not a complicated problem at all. Um, so, you know, if you just want to draw your building, the one thing that you need to know is in all of these word problems for at least um, chapter 8-1, um, really until I tell you otherwise, the building or a tree or whatever it is and the ground always create your right angle. Okay, so this is my building and we'll say the window is right here. All right, and then the ladder, it's a wonderful looking ladder, is there. Okay, so they tell me that the ladder is 18 feet long. And they tell me that uh, the window that the ladder is reaching to is 16 feet. And the question is looking for how far um, should the ladder be from the base of the building. Okay, so I mean now you think you see very easily x squared plus 16 squared. 18 has to be the hypotenuse because it is opposite of that right angle. It is equal to 18 squared. Um, when I crunch some of these numbers here, x squared plus 256 is equal to 324. And then I'm going to minus my 256 from both sides. And that will give me x squared equals um, uh, 68. Square root both sides, and x comes out to be about 8.2 feet after you get done with all the rounding and everything that you need to take care of. All right, so there's 14. All right, any questions, obviously email me and I'll try to explain over email or office hours or whatever it is. And then number 15, um, these questions kind of pop up a lot between um, the two worksheets that you guys have. Um, you know, they're not too complicated, I think, once you see the, um, the way to set them up also. So a square has a diagonal of 12 centimeters. What is the perimeter of the square? And then obviously I want the answer in simplest radical form. So the thing to remember what perimeter is, perimeter is the distance around something. Okay, so um, if I just draw a square, and the other thing that we got to remember, and we should be experts on squares because we spent really that was the last chapter we really spent together, um, was that all squares have congruent sides. Okay, um, so if the diagonal of a square is 12 centimeters they're asking you for the perimeter so I actually need to find the length of the side first but they don't tell us that except it's not that difficult because whatever the length of the side has to be all four sides are the same length so for my setup for this I'm going to still use a Pythagorean theorem and of course squares not only have congruent sides but they also have four right angles so I'm just going to pay attention to this triangle okay so I'm going to take x squared plus x squared is equal to 12 squared, okay? And then um, to solve this, you're probably looking at this like, how am I supposed to do that? Well, x squared plus x squared just gives you 2x squared, and 12 squared is 144. Now I divide both sides by 2, and now I know that x squared is equal to 72. Now I need a square root both sides, and the biggest perfect, well 72 is not a perfect square, but the biggest perfect square that divides into it is 36. You get 36 and 2. This is your perfect square root, so it is 6 and it comes out of the house. 2 is not perfect, so it stays in, but that's not the answer. All I have found, back to my original problem, is that each one of these lengths is 6 radical 2. And then of course they're asking for the perimeter. Well, just to explain this to you, if all the sides were said to you to be 6x, and you had you, the perimeter, you have to add them all up. So let's say hypothetically all the side lengths were 6x, you don't do anything with the x's. You just add 
6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6, which gives you 24 x's, right? Well, the radicals work the exact same way. Ignore the radical 2's, add 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6, or do 6 times 4 to get 24. Radical 2. That's your perimeter um, of your square. Okay? So if there's any questions, any other questions on Form K, as of 3.30 on Wednesday, this is all I've got for the two questions on this worksheet. If there's any more, email me tonight, um, and I'll try and post that video. Um, and again, I'll have office hours um, tomorrow at 1 o'clock if you want to hop on to Zoom. Um, I posted everything on Google Classroom. Um, if you want to hop on there, I'm sorry, it'll be, it'll be tomorrow, uh, April 9th, um, for you to hop on there and um, ask me any other questions you have on this. Have a great night, guys.